it's Laura and welcome back to another video. Uh, sorry this video has taken so long to get out. I've been meaning to do it for the longest time. But with the 10 year challenge that's kind of gone viral, is it the 10 years challenge? 10 years glow up challenge? I just thought that it was the perfect time to make this video and this video is gonna be all about what to do in high school if you're interested in becoming a dentist. All right, so if we throw this back to 10 years ago, insert picture, <laughs> Um, I was in the middle of ninth grade in high school and I was thinking that I was gonna be pre-med. I wasn't thinking about dentistry at all. Now that I'm in dental school, I have a lot more knowledge about what I found useful in high school and what I wish I would have done in high school. And now I'm sharing that knowledge with you guys. So first thing is if you're in high school, your number one priority should be your academics. Some courses I consider taking are definitely your basic math and science classes, biology, chemistry, physics, algebra, pre-calc, calc if you can. These will not only help you when you're studying for the DAT, but also they'll help you get a good start on your dental school prerequisites. And I have a whole different video about that, so check it out if you wanna see what classes are required for dental school. Basically, just challenge yourself academically and take those hard classes. Speaking of upper level advanced classes, I'd recommend doing AP classes or IB classes if you have college in the high school, uh, recommend doing that. That's where you get college credits for taking high school classes. Besides the science and math classes, I also recommend taking a variety of classes like art, ceramics, videography, photography, I don't know, business. Something that you learn in each of these classes is gonna help you become a better dentist. Art and pottery, ceramics, whatever you have, um, is especially nice in dentistry because those help you develop your manual dexterity and your hand skills. And so that's really nice to take in high school because you won't have to pay for those classes. But other than those recommendations, I say just cover your basic sciences and have fun in high school. Take a good variety of classes. Now on to shadowing. So shadowing is a very important part of deciding whether or not you want to be a dentist in general. And in high school, it's a super great way to get started and to really see if dentistry is what you want to pursue. So what is job shadowing? Job shadowing is watching your dentist work, uh, observe, learn about what it's actually like to be a dentist, what it means to be a dentist, not just the actual hands-on stuff, but all of the other stuff that goes on in the office as well. And it's a really great way to make sure that Dentistry is really what you want to pursue and you can see yourself doing that for the rest of your life. Start off with shadowing your family dentist, your dentist, your family's dentist, because they know you the best and more likely than not, they're gonna say yes and they're gonna be excited that you're interested in dentistry and they'll want you to watch them and learn about the career. You can also job shadow a variety of specialties if you'd like. I'd recommend seeing if your family dentist has any good friends who are specialists or just Google search different dental specialties in your area. I know a lot of teenagers have braces, I did, and so I shadowed my orthodontist, pediatric dentist, oral surgeons, endo, periodontist. Basically, shadow as much as you can in high school. All right, so now onto extracurriculars. Here are just some ideas. Honestly, you can do any extracurriculars that you'd like in high school. Just do something that you really love. You can do sports, get involved with leadership or ASB, student council, whatever your school has. Volunteer. Some ideas of where you can volunteer are at a dental clinic, hospital, senior center. Also check in with your high school counselors. They might know of some pre-health programs for high schoolers either in the area, in your district, or at the local university or college. Basically, my biggest advice for high schoolers is to focus on school, but also don't make school your life because extracurriculars are very important. They teach you how to work with others, manage your time, and become a leader and develop those leadership skills that you need when you wanna be a dentist. So just to give you a little idea of what my high school life was like, I took a whole bunch of honors, AP, college in the high school, got some college credit, which was really nice, through the AP credits and the college in the high school credits. I feel like I would say I was your typical good student in high school. I was the Asian girl that people went to for help. Uh, yeah. So now onto extracurriculars, I did volleyball, I also did key club, I was, 
a member and an officer in Key Club. I believe most high schools have Key Club and it was a really great experience for me. I got to volunteer in the community a lot. National Honor Society was something I was part of which was more volunteering. I was also involved with school leadership. It might sound kind of nerdy but I was also part of my high school's newspaper. Junior year I was a copy editor. Senior year I was the editor in chief. I also ended up working a little bit in high school. What I did was just babysat occasionally and I tutored students. Those were the top activities that I can think of at the top of my head that I did in high school. You definitely don't have to do any of those things at all to get into dental school. These are just to give you an idea like who I was in high school. That is all of the advice that I have to give to you high schoolers about what to do if you are interested in dentistry. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And that is it that I have for this video. I have got to run to class now, which is why I've kind of like been fidgeting. I'm like doing this video really impromptu, but hopefully you guys find it helpful and I will see you in the next video. Bye.